Have you ever wondered what causes tornadoes? It's such a fascinating and destructive natural phenomenon. Absolutely. Tornadoes are incredibly powerful and can cause significant damage. From what I understand, they form under specific atmospheric conditions, but the exact cause is still a subject of study and research. That's right. One factor that contributes to the formation of tornadoes is the clash of warm and cold air masses. When warm, moist air meets cold, dry air, it creates an unstable environment. The warm air rises rapidly, creating an updraft. Yes, and as the warm air rises, it starts to rotate due to the wind shear in the atmosphere. This rotation forms a horizontal, spinning column of air known as a mesocyclone. Exactly. The mesocyclone is a crucial component in tornado formation. It acts as the engine that drives the tornado. But there's still more to it. For a mesocyclone to develop into a tornado, we need something called a trigger. Right. Triggers can be various weather phenomena like thunderstorms or supercell thunderstorms. These triggers provide the necessary conditions for the mesocyclone to intensify and eventually produce a tornado. And once the mesocyclone reaches a certain level of intensity, a funnel cloud is formed. This is the visible part of the tornado, characterized by a rotating column of air extending from the cloud base to the ground. It's interesting how tornadoes can vary in size, strength, and duration. Some are small and short-lived, while others can be massive and last for an extended period. The enhanced Fujita scale is used to measure tornado intensity, ranging from EF0, weakest, to EF5, most severe. That's a good point. The enhanced Fujita scale takes into account the damage caused by the tornado to estimate its strength. It considers factors such as wind speed, damage to structures, and the path width of destruction. You know, I've always wondered if climate change has any impact on tornado frequency or intensity. With the changing climate patterns, it seems plausible that tornadoes could be affected too. That's a valid question. While it's challenging to directly attribute individual tornadoes to climate change, some studies indicate that the frequency and intensity of tornadoes might change in the future due to climate-related factors. However, more research is needed to fully understand the connection. It's fascinating how weather events are influenced by so many interconnected factors. Meteorologists and scientists continue to study tornadoes to improve our understanding and ability to forecast these potentially dangerous storms. Absolutely. The more we learn about tornadoes, the better prepared we can be to mitigate their impact. Early warning systems, storm shelters, and improved forecasting techniques can all play a crucial role in saving lives and minimizing damage. It's crucial for communities in tornado-prone regions to have emergency plans in place and to stay informed during severe weather events. Understanding the causes and behavior of tornadoes empowers us to make better decisions to protect ourselves and our communities. Definitely. Tornadoes are a powerful reminder of the forces of nature, and by respecting and understanding them, we can work towards minimizing their destructive impact. You're absolutely right. 
Respecting and understanding tornadoes is key to minimizing their destructive impact. It's also important to educate the public about tornado safety measures so that people know what to do when a tornado warning is issued. Absolutely. Tornado safety should be a priority for everyone living in tornado-prone areas. Having a designated safe place, such as a basement or an interior room on the lowest level of a building, can make a significant difference in saving lives during a tornado. And it's not just individuals who need to be prepared. Communities, local authorities, and meteorological agencies play a crucial role in disseminating accurate and timely information about tornadoes. Effective communication can help ensure that people receive warnings in advance and can take appropriate action. Yes, communication is key. With advances in technology, we now have access to various tools and platforms that can provide real-time updates and alerts about severe weather, including tornadoes. It's important for individuals to stay informed through weather apps, emergency alerts, and local news channels. Absolutely. Technology has made a significant impact on our ability to predict and track tornadoes. Doppler radar systems, for example, can detect rotation within storms and provide valuable data for meteorologists to issue tornado warnings. It's incredible how far we've come in terms of tornado forecasting. Meteorologists can now issue tornado watches and warnings with much greater accuracy, allowing people to take necessary precautions and seek shelter in a timely manner. That's true. However, there's always room for improvement. Scientists and researchers are continually studying tornadoes to enhance our understanding and prediction capabilities. By analyzing historical data and conducting field studies, we can gather valuable insights into tornado behavior and improve our forecasting models. Absolutely. The more we learn, the more we can refine our models and improve our ability to anticipate tornadoes. This knowledge can help us develop better strategies for tornado preparedness and response, ultimately saving lives and minimizing damage. It's reassuring to know that we're constantly striving to improve our understanding of tornadoes. As our knowledge grows, we can develop more effective mitigation and response strategies. It's a collective effort involving meteorologists, scientists, emergency management agencies, and the public. Indeed, it's a collaborative effort. By working together, we can enhance our resilience to tornadoes and ensure the safety of our communities. From research and education to preparedness and response, every individual and organization has a role to play in minimizing the impact of tornadoes. Absolutely. Tornadoes may be powerful and unpredictable, but with the right knowledge, preparation, and cooperation, we can reduce their devastating effects. It's a continuous journey of learning and adapting as we strive to create safer communities in tornado-prone areas. Well said. Let's hope that our collective efforts lead to advancements in tornado research, forecasting, and preparedness. The more we understand the causes and behavior of tornadoes, the better equipped will be to face these natural phenomena and protect lives and property. I couldn't agree more. Thank you for this enlightening conversation. 
It's always fascinating to delve into the science behind tornadoes and discuss ways to mitigate their impact. Let's continue spreading awareness and promoting tornado safety to ensure the well-being of our communities.